Hello, hello. Happy Tuesday, everyone. How are you? Good evening. Can you hear me, guys? Hello. Good evening. Yes. How are you, Carla? Uh huh, Carla Sofia. Where were you yesterday? <laughs> I go. I worked. Where were you yesterday? <laughs> I work in. Oh, I don't see the time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I didn't. No, I, I didn't see the time. Yeah. Time. All right. Okay. You were working. That's fine. <laughs> don't worry. I'm happy to see you, Carla. Hi, Mauricio. How are you? Hi, Jose. How are you? Hi, Miss. Happy Tuesday, today's Tuesday, or it's oh, not today's Monday, right? What day is it? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I forget. It's because yesterday I didn't work because it was um, Labor Day in the United States. So to me, today it's Monday. <laughs> I'm lost in time. Sorry. All right. Happy to see you today. Hi, Jorge. Hi, Juan Carlos. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing? Busy as well. <laughs> All right. So, guys, I'm going to start telling you about the platform. Ideally, by today, let's check. We're going to check how you're doing in the platform for the ones that have completed it or that are pending, which ones are pending. So we're gonna check that, right? Okay, the ones that we have connected right now, we're gonna start with Jose, okay, Jose. Where are you, Jose? Is this you, Jose? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you look thing you had 96. Okay, you completed everyone. This is number four. Okay, don't worry. Or you can retake the ones that were incorrect because we're gonna check them tonight. Okay, so we can okay. work. And then this is the ah, this is the where are you? Okay, <laughs> all right, and then 93, 90 and 100 and 75, this is the final exam, right? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Don't worry. Igual se lo hacemos hasta el final. So you can retake it at the moment to increase your scores. Okay. All right. Let's check Mauricio's. Um, Mauricio Antonio is showing that he completed the platform already. Very good, Mauricio. Congratulations. You completed the platform already. Then we have Carla Sofia. Let's see, Carla, how are you doing? <laughs> Carla says also homework one, homework two, homework three. Carla, we need to increase that in that score. <laughs> Hay que tomar yes, los I see. <laughs> I don't remember. With number four, that's the one we're going to start solving tonight. So don't worry, you have time. Okay. Okay? Okay. This is the average, this is the intermediate exam. And this is the final exam. So it, it, it can be pending, no worries, okay? Because we have time. And then, who else do we have here? Oh, Jorge, for him. So, okay. Jorge also completed the platform. We just need to work on homework number three. Jorge, we need to retake it. So yes, it's the exercise when I uh, have the, uh, put the, the, um, the punctuation, the okay. comma, yes, period. That, uh, this exercise, uh, really, I don't understand, teacher. <laughs> yes, right, it's then. very difficult to me. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. we, we can check it again. Um, don't worry, okay. okay? And then, because I don't want you to live with a 75, right? at least a 95, it's acceptable, right? And then everything else has been very good. And then we have Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos Herrera, mm -hmm. we have, let's see, also already completed the platform. He's just pending the final exam. 
if I'm not mistaken, right? Um, yeah, final exam pending. But this is mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Oh no, Juan Carlos I, is here. I, oh no, you I already did, did it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I was looking at the other one. It's uh -huh. this one. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. For the last name. Yes, you have already Ooh, congratulations, you got it complete. And then we have Eduardo. All right, let's see Eduardo how you're doing in the platform. You got homework one complete. Night is um homework two as well, homework three. Mm, we need to take this again. <laughs> we need to increase this score. It's homework number three. We will review that tonight. So don't worry, guys. The ones that need to retake homework number three, we're gonna see it again tonight so you can raise your score. Okay. And then homework number four, we are also seeing it either tonight or tomorrow, depending. Right? Midterm it's perfect. And then just pending the final, which we're gonna be doing next week for the ones that haven't done it yet. And then we also have who else is connected? Cesar is connected already. So we got Cesar, you showed to have completed the platform. So that's nice. Congrats. And we have Nelly Lilibet also. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Nelly here. Um, Nelly, we have homework one, perfect. Two, homework three, we need to increase. <laughs> Everyone needs to increase homework number three. So we're gonna re we're gonna review it, don't worry, okay? So you can raise your scores. Homework four, so that's good. And then the final, you already took it. Perfect, Nelly. And see, Sandra Vigail Bonilla, we have here over here. Oh, where's, oh Sandra. You have homework one, that's good. Homework two, three, four, that's good. Oh, Sandra already completed the platform as well. Um, oh, the final exam we need to retake, right? Let's see. So yeah, the final exam, we just need to take it one more time, Abigail, so you can increase your score from 75 to 100, right? Um, but we will do the final next week, so don't worry, okay? And then let's see, Maida, you're doing with homework one, very good. Homework two, homework three, four. So you already completed the platform. That's nice. So you don't have to worry no more for that about that. Okay. Am I missing someone? Uh, Emerson. Let's see. Oh, here you are, Emerson. So homework one completed, two and three also completed, four. So you also completed the platform, Emerson. Very good job also. Now we have Jose Bernardo Lopez. Is this you, Jose Lopez Montes? Yeah, that's you, right? Jose Bernardo. Okay, so you have a hundred and first. Wait a moment. 92 in the first homework, second, third homework. We need to increase that score. We need to raise it. Homework number four is the one for this week. So you have time. And then midterm, you took it and you're pending the final. Okay. And then let's see. Kenya. Kenya. Okay. Kenya seems to have homework one, two, homework three. <laughs> There's a lot of people with problems on homework theory. We're going to review it right now. And then homework four completed. You just in the final and midterm. Very good. Okay. So I think that covers everyone. If I did, if I'm missing someone, let me know. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Because I see that everyone needs to practice the homework number three or to increase homework number three. Um, I say, okay, don't worry, Mark. We're gonna go here. And we're gonna check that homework number three that is giving you problems, guys. <laughs> homework number three. We're gonna check it right now. I'm gonna show you the answers because of time. Okay, so we have, you have the answers in here. Now, I'm going to repeat this. If you have a lower score on the homework number three, 
use this as your answers, right? Take a picture, make a screenshot, or write the answers, whatever you prefer. But make sure that you're following, right? Traten de hacerlo ahorita o si no tomen la imagen o algo para que lo puedan resolver tal cual está ahí, okay? So we don't have an excuse. You have two options. For example, number one, okay? Acá está sin puntuación. Ustedes lo tienen que reescribir con puntuación. Y les da dos versiones para hacerlo. Pueden escoger la primera, for example, we remove items for gardens and packages. Then semicolon, right? Punto y coma. As a result, comma, speakers are not able to find to find them when they need to. Period. Okay. O tienen la segunda versión. No van a poner las dos, se lo van a poner una de las dos. O pueden poner esa que acabo de leer o pueden poner la que sigue. We remove items from cartons and packages, period. As a result, comma, speakers are not able to find them when they need to, period. Okay, so you can use this version or you can use the second version, not both. Okay, para que se los tome. And then, number two, same scenario, okay? Same scenario, the punctuation is missing in the original sentence, you have to add it. You can do several in here. It says, the vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box, semicolon. Consequently, comma, we have to waste time to open the box, comma, count the items and rebox them, right? O, esta es la primera versión. O, pueden ocupar la segunda, que es la de abajo. The vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box, period. Consequently, comma, we have to waste time to open the box, count the items, and rebox them. Okay? So either or. No van a poner las dos versiones, solo una. Pueden escoger la versión donde es con punto y coma o la versión donde es con punto cerrado. Y seguir toda la puntuación de los demás. Okay? So it's up to you. Then we have number three. Igual les da dos versiones. ¿ve? La primera. O la segunda que está. So you decide. Okay, number four doesn't have two options, it only has one, right? They convey your bill proof. As a consequence, there is not enough stuff to put arriving packages away, period. Okay. And then for number five, you also have two versions. For la, para número cinco, tienen dos versiones. Period, comma, period. Or semicolon, comma, period. Okay, it's your decision. Cualquiera de las dos. Asegúrense de um, utilizar igual que están viendo en pantalla las respuestas, mayúsculas, minúsculas, espacios y puntuación. Todo eso lo toma en cuenta la plataforma. Okay? Once you have it selected, you hit send. Y ahí ya está completo y pueden subir su score. Pueden subir su nota que tienen para esa tarea, los que tienen menos de, menos de 100. Okay? Then for homework 3.3. Esta, en esta no necesitaban, ¿verdad? Solo era la de los, la anterior, de la tarea 3. O necesitan yes, ayuda con otra. In, in, in my case, the other. Esta, solamente. Yes. Ok, perfecto. Si you. necesitan, perfect, a la orden. Si necesitan revisar otra, me dejan saber. Si no, ahorita vamos con la que está para esta semana, que serían ya las tareas. Mm -hmm. Digamos. Number, number 3.9. Ok, vamos a ver. Vamos a verlo. 3.7. Is it this one? Oh, 3.9. Read about yes. warehouse safety procedures. Then classify them into the following categories by selecting the letters. Oh, ok. Let me show you the answer. Yes. They... Three and four, it's in the same uh, in the same question, and um, the total of points it's about four questions, oh. and we have three questions. Uh -huh. So um, in the in the total, I think that does it give you the option to select this one? Yes, just three, mm -hmm. 
este el total I have fifteen fifteen the twenty points. It all, the total is 20 points, but just we have three questions, so um, it's not counting uh, this one. Yes. Uh -huh. It's not counting this one. Okay. So if it if it's missing five points, it's gonna give you like 95 maximum at the end of the whole homework, right? Instead of a hundred, it's gonna give you 95. That's fine. That's perfect, right? Lo que no queremos es abajo de 95. Si tenemos 75, 50, 40, eso no. Pero arriba de 90, 95, estamos bien, ¿ok? So you don't have to worry too much. If you have all the other ones correct, don't worry too much about that one, right? But I want you to see the answer, just in case, right? So you can have one is letter A and G. Number two is letter B and A. And number three is letter C and E. Okay, so that's four homeworks from week number three. And then we're checking homeworks for week number four, which is the one we're working right now. And let me share them to you. We're gonna solve at least the first one so we can uh, move on with tonight's class if we're okay. So, For unit four, okay, 4.1. I'm gonna show you guys the answer. Please make sure that you copy the answers or that you take a screenshot or take a picture that is gonna help you complete it properly, right? So number one, it'll be efficiently. Number two is going to be accurately. Number three, consistently. Number four, slowly. And number five, communicate with your distributor. Okay, number five, communicate with your distributor. Okay, that's gonna, and then you hit send. That's gonna be for this week, okay? Homework for this week. Tomorrow, we're going to continue with the rest of the homeworks from week four. Tonight, we're only seeing 4.1, okay? Uh, before we continue, I'm going to take attendance so I don't want to because I don't want to forget again. So we have Carlos Vladimir. Please be ready to say here or present when you listen to your name. Okay, Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Present. Thank you, Dairo Jonathan Fuentes. Eduardo Antonio Magaña. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, yes. Thank you. Fatima Gabriela Loza. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jonathan Jose Gonzalez. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo Lopez. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Thank you. Jose Cesar Lemus. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Herrera. Present, Miss. Thank you. Juan José Herrera. Carla Sofía Argueta. Present. Thank you. Kenny Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña. Present. Thank you. Nelly Lilibet Andrade. Present. Thank you. Raúl Antonio. Ok, no. Sandra Vigail Bonilla. Present. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Okay. So, we were talking last week. If you remember, I was telling you guys about, I was telling you guys about conversation questions that we're going to, oh, tell me, Eduardo. Oh, because you're present. <laughs> All right, got it. Yes, yes, yes. All right, perfect. So we were we were talking last week that we want you to start talking in different topics, not exclusively in business topics, 
So we have a section of questions that you can answer, right? You can select two or three questions and discuss them in groups and come up with your answers, right? For example, are you a competitive person? Yes, why are you competitive? Or no, why are you not competitive, right? Do you consider that you are competitive? Okay. Do you think life is a competition? Okay. Or do you think competition is good for us? Okay. So you can choose different answers to create a conversation within the group. Okay. So for this exercise, we're going to go into the breakout room and you're going to create a conversation selecting some of those questions. Okay. You don't have to use them all. So don't, don't worry. You don't have to use them all. Just select some of the questions and use them to create your conversation, okay? Remember, try to give strong and long answers and not just, is competition good for us? No, I don't think it's good. Oh, okay, next question, <laughs> all right? Try to make it a conversation. No, I don't think it's good for us because of this and that, or vice versa. Yes, I think it's good for this reason, right? So make complete and strong and long answers that show that you're advanced, right? You are literally, six days away from going to advance. So <laughs> let's get ready for that type of conversation, okay? The rooms are open right now. I'm gonna give you guys 10 minutes. Choose two or three questions and make a conversation with them, okay? Las salas están abiertas, van a tener 10 minutos. Escojan dos o tres preguntas de la lista y ocupenlas para crear su conversación, okay? Remember, we want strong answers, long answers, and long conversations in the end, right? Estamos ingresando a la sala. Let's go into the rooms.
Okay, we're all back to the session and we're gonna start listening to the conversations you created with the question. All right, so we're gonna begin with room number three because in room one and two, nobody participated. So let's begin with room number three. We have Abigail Bonilla, Emerson Ulises, and Jose Romero. I believe only Emerson and Jose, right? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Emerson is, Emerson is going to start. All right. Okay, um, we chose the, the question number three, five, and eight. Okay. And the, the number three, uh, I consider uh, we are motivated by self improvement and the desire to the master stack. Task. You okay. strive to do the best and improve your knowledge or skill during the competition process. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, we pick the number five. Do you like competitive people? Yes, for sure, because if you become a, a leader of your team, you need competitive people, people with attitude that work together. No matter if at the end we fail, but you do it. You, you are competitive, you are trying, you are working hard. For me, competitive people is not always winners. Sometimes you fall, but you have the attitude to be a competitive people and never give up. You still, still, you have a, do you have a, a goals? Where are you going to? Where are you moving to? And you, and when you are competitive people, no matter what you have to do, and you are still working as soon as possible to reach your goal that you set. For me, competitive people in a team is the best that, that can happen to whatever leader. All right. Yes, right. also... Also, we picked the number eight. My friend Emerson is going to explain you. Mm -hmm. Well, in, in this case, I think so many people are competitive to stand out and feel good about the, themselves. Perfect. That's right. Yes, also, um, additional information, we were discussing that we have to learn to be competitive people because no one born being competitive. That is our opinion at the end, right? That's, that's right. It all. That's yeah. it all, Miss. That's correct. Nobody's born like that. You become like that. <laughs> very good. Well developed. Well chosen. You chose very good the questions and you develop each of them with the answers. So very good. Amazon and Sir, thank you. Good job. We're going to listen to room number four right now. And here we have Cesar Lemos and Nelly Lilibet. Go ahead, guys, please. Good evening. Okay, um, Cesar and I, we talk about um, number uh, two. Okay. The competitive person, why and why not? Um, uh, actually, Cesar uh, asks, Asked to me that question, and I think that um, I think that sometimes I'm a competitive person, uh, <laughs> but but with myself. Oh, all right. Myself. Yeah, for improve myself, but in generally, I done <laughs> for it and competitive with other person, mm -hmm. but um. If somebody um, is bad with me, yes, mm -hmm. I'm really if, competitive. <laughs> if they challenge you, if they challenge yeah. you, <laughs> if yeah. they challenge you, <laughs> all right. So, um, I think that number seven, mm -hmm. um, do you think life is a competition? Mm -hmm. I think that the life is not a competition okay. because uh, <laughs> we have to enjoy um, everything that we do but 
when when we want to improve um, every day, uh, maybe yeah, competition is good for um, like um, uh, motivation for 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 get our goals. Mm -hmm. Well, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and sister. Okay, in my case, uh, Nelly asked me uh, the first question, what is your favorite competition? And my favorite competition is the uh, World Cup. Yes, because it's every four years and you can see how the players um, play for uh, their countries and all that pride to represent it, to representing their uh, countries and all that countries uh, excited to see uh, their selections um, to play uh, with other uh, teams mm -hmm. and it's so uh, exciting to see how to all that team competitive with for uh, get it that um that title and okay. for that reason it's my favorite competition um another question was how can you learn to be more competitive and i i think that we can to learn uh, to With be too. we can learn we can to learn sing el too <laughs> we can learn uh -huh. we can learn to be more competitive uh, mm -hmm. if we uh, see or we yes if we see um everything uh, like a competition uh, for example in this class in my work uh, that um, the sale that wish to to always get the best result uh, we can to uh, help us to better to improve and be more competitive in our okay. life. So competitiveness can make you be can make you challenge yourself, right? To keep improving, 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 right? Yes, exactly. Example. Nice. Uh, exactly. And, uh -huh. um, just that teacher. <laughs> <I don't remember. laughs> All right, well developed. Those questions that you chose with Nelly, those were very, very on point with the answers that you gave. And Nelly was very, very natural to explain her answers. Very good job, guys. Is that Nelly? Excellent. So now we're going to listen to room number five. And here we have Jorge, Carla, and Mike. Go ahead, guys. Well, teacher, we... Uh choice the very difficult question because I am in disadvantage. Disadvantage. Yeah, disadvantage, but sorry. And because uh, the first one is, well, we talk about the different question, but the focus in a one question, the, the, the student eight, the um, question seven, are men more competitive than women? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, well, well, I don't know. Uh, what do you think, my my partners, the girls, uh, about this question? Uh, because I, I uh, ask for me, uh, is both because, uh, the man or woman, uh, they have both the uh the same uh qualities mm -hmm. and the different but uh, they have a, a can uh complement 
one for the other one, but I don't know what do you think my my partners. Okay, Carla, Maya. Hello. Um, I think uh, it's not depend the gender. It's none of this is by nature. Uh, I think there are people both women and men. Uh, who are more competitive than others because uh, of their personal characters, uh, history, social environment. I think it's it's depend the person and not the gender. <laughs> Me. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Mayra. In, in my case, um, I had a bad experience in this um, area because when I work in a call center, my male colleagues were promoted because uh, they play with the boss. Mm. <laughs> they play soccer. Okay. <laughs> and they and they don't have a. They didn't have. A, they didn't have a, a capac a capac the capacity. capacity. Uh -huh. The capacity. Than me, okay. um, I think in some leadership position they tend to choose men because of some affinity with the superiors or your or the boss. All right. In some case, it, it's my bad experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, yeah. Teacher, uh, I told I, I I told my partners that. Uh, both and uh, have the same qualities and and I talk about the uh, in the um, all moments uh, the men or woman have the different competitors include the the superheroes I mentioned <laughs> <laughs> yes we have a superman and we have a superwoman and then and, and both have the the same qualities for the the different competition, but uh, for me is both uh, mm -hmm. are better. Yes. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Both are competitive, but I think it depends. In the case of women, I think women are more competitive because we have to be in this world where men are preferred. <laughs> For positions like the example Mayra was mentioning, right? In this situation, if a woman becomes competitive, it's because she doesn't have any other choice. She has to be competitive because they are not selecting her for her capabilities, right? Or capacities. So it depends also on, on your context. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, what else, guys? Did you choose any other? No, for, for us, uh, the, uh, we talk about the 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 words and uh, we um uh, uh we are agree the competitive is is good for for us okay uh, in the old cases because um for example in the question nine uh, we talk about this uh sentences the competition brings out best uh, if product the competition in the different products is good because a uh, help for this one uh, uh we we can uh, have the different products and uh, for example the cell phone the technology is better better uh, when the years passed is um, the companies try to give the different uh, technologies is the uh, better for the for than others uh, and the we talk about the different products the competitive is is good okay yeah i agree it's uh, some competitiveness depending on how where you are it can be good right it's always motivating <laughs> thank you for sharing jorge carla mayra very well developed answers and now we're going to listen to room number six and here we have we're going to listen to the opinions from Eduardo, Juan Carlos, and Wendy. Go ahead, guys, please. Okay. Uh, hello, Eduardo and Nelly. 
uh, the the other day I was reading uh, 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 the interest the interesting articles uh, about the competitive competitive and I think Eduardo uh, are you a competitive person? Absolutely, my friend. In my case, I think uh, when you are a competitive person, <clears throat> you can achieve uh, to be more success in the future. But in my case, I prefer to be a a, a competitive person uh, with myself. I try to overcome my my old goals, but I all the time try to be just focused on myself. And it doesn't matter that the people do, but in some cases. I will try to look uh, some habits that other people have tried to imitate in, in, as well, because I think it's really important when you uh, uh, um, when you get uh, habits, uh, good habits that other people, uh, for example, teach you. And yes, I think competitive person is the is part of your life, but you try to be uh, try to stay in the in the right way if you want to be. Uh, a good person and complete your your all goals and overcome your your goals. And what about you, my friend? <clears throat> uh, do we learn to be competitive or are we more competitive, my friend? Sorry, I can hear you. Yes, I, I think I I competitive person too uh, because I I consider that when I I when I I I I, uh, I born or when we we are born uh -huh, uh, we are competitive in some way uh, I think uh, when we grown up uh, we are learning uh, to be a uh, competitive it's very important to uh, develop this uh, ability uh, what about you Nelly uh, are you uh, uh, when well, do you think uh, the life is a competition no yeah. Wendy, are you there? Hello. Do okay. you like competitive people? Um, yes, I like to compete for why like doing my job on the supermarket. Um, to live to be competitive or work on life teach has to be strong to have experience and to find solution and change I to have personal attitude. Okay. Uh... I don't know, Eduardo, if you see in the, the live, it's a competition. I think you didn't listen to the question, Eduardo. <laughs> or did you listen? No, no, no. Uh, question. <laughs> Juan Carlos was asking you if you think life is a competition. Ah, the question was for Wendy. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> A Juan Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think each of you has answered one already, so don't worry, guys. <laughs> okay. You delivered. Thank you, Eduardo. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Thanks, Wendy. All right. So, guys, this is just for opening open topic conversation right so now we're gonna go to the students manual and i'm gonna show you pay i think it's page 27 if i'm not mistaken let me see and yeah so we're gonna check a conversation we have in here first we're gonna answer these two questions 
or this is a topic, right? What are quite some problems that may affect warehouse providers? And how do you identify and prevent possible issues? It is one thing that you know what are some possible problems and it's a totally different situation that you identify them before they happen and that you prevent them. How do you do that, all right? How can you identify them and how can you prevent them from happening, okay? But before we get into that, we're gonna check conversation and exercise too. Mrs. White and Daniel are talking about some issues with purchase orders, right? They're gonna read the conversation and take turns practicing. So we're gonna do two rounds on this, okay? Um, we need two volunteers for the first round. One person to read Mrs. White and one person to read Daniel. Maida, please help us reading Mrs. White and Cesar help us reading Daniel for the first round, please. Okay. Daniel, I'm going over some purchase orders, but the product we say don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh, I bet it happened during during the day the system received maintenance and that way your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy for of which the correct number. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpay for three incomplete orders. I will send the document to your department by five so you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Rem Reimbursement. Reimbursement. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, let's go with round number two. Same conversation, we need two more volunteers. One for Mrs. White and one for Daniel. Round number two. You're going to read the same conversation, we can have two more volunteers. Okay, sir. Carla, help us reading Mrs. White and Eduardo, help us reading Daniel. Uh, okay. Daniel, I'm going over some purchase orders, but the product received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. <clears throat> oh, I bet it happened. It happened during the day the system uh, received a maintenance. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. Uh, we had a copy with the current numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information is sent to the finance department determining the wrong cost. As a result, we overpay for their incomplete orders. <clears throat> okay, I will send the documents uh, to your department by five so you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Man. Reimbursement. <laughs> reimbursement. Yes. <laughs> Reimbursement. Yes. Devolución. <laughs> yes, that's a reimbursement. Over, refund. Re, uh, reembolso o uh, devolución. Right? That's what it is. Or the same as the refund. Exactly. Right? Reimbursement is more, it's more elegant. <laughs> but, it's, okay. but it's the same. Yeah. Okay. Her work. According to the conversation, we're going to complete the sentences. Okay. So, number one. I bet it happened during the days of system received maintenance. Continue the that, sentence. And and that's why. Mm -hmm. Yep. Your that's why. Your department okay. didn't receive the right information in time. Perfect. That is correct. And then number two, the information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, mm -hmm. we are paid for three complete orders. One minute, please. I gotta close the window because it's raining. Crazy. So, guys, pay attention to the ones that are in white, in black here, right? That's why, as a result, right? We call those expressions, we call them 
transitions, right? Those are transitions of results. Give me just a moment here, please. It was too much noise because of the rain. So those, we call those expressions transitions of result. And we have some examples in here. So I'm going to need volunteers to read. One person to read the introduction, the first two lines, and another person to read the other four lines. Okay? So we need two volunteers to read. Maida, help us reading the introduction and then the first three lines, please. And we need another person to read the final three. Okay. Wendy, do you, could you help us reading the last three? This one, this one, and this one? Yes, it's Thank you. Go ahead, Maida. Okay. Transition help connect idea. In this case, this transition connect a result to the action that causes. When the transition is positioned between two clouds, construction can be as follows. The label information was wrong. As a consequence, the package were put in the incorrect bins. The product were not properly packaged as a result, they were damaged. When the vendor it? might say the labor date, consequently, the retailer I get for a re reimbursement. We didn't know they were dangerous, chemical in the shipment. As a result, some workers have to go to, go to uh, the hospital. There were no workers safely with this. Therefore, we trained the staff safely products. Thank you. Okay. A little bit further on, later on, you will learn that there are transitions of result, transitions of cost in different situations, right? Transitions can be used in different scenarios. And they change, they are different. But in this case, we're specifying only transitions of result, which are the ones we have in here. There are more, but the more basic ones are connect as a result, right? And as a consequence, as a result, consequently, or therefore, right? Therefore, sería el equivalente de decir en español, por lo tanto. Right, for the plant. So, and it's telling you, right? When we use the transition in a disposition between two clauses, the punctuation is important. This is mostly when you are writing them, right? You finish your idea, the first sentence, the label information was wrong. You finish your idea, you close it with the period, and then you add the transition of result, comma, and continue the next idea. And then you finish the second idea, right? Same scenario here, right? The products were not properly packaged. Finish my idea, period. Transition of consequence, comma, and the result, right? That's how you're going to do it, okay? These are not necessarily used on the in-between, but this is like the most common use, right? When you will usually see them in between of two sentences. Again, it's not the only position where you can put them, but it's the most common one. Okay, so here's what you're going to do right now. You have to create, you have to write one sentence for as a consequence, one sentence as a result, one with consequently, and one with their. This is going to be individual. Every one of you has to write four sentences, okay? One using as a consequence, another one using as a result, Number three is using consequently. Number four, using therefore. 
Again, you don't have to put them in the middle necessarily, or just if you feel that you need to, okay? I'm going to give you guys five minutes to write the four sentences. Again, this is individual, please.
All right. If you have your sentences ready, raise your hand and we can begin listening to your sentence. Remember, you got to have a total of four. If you don't have your four sentences, don't worry. You still have a, a few minutes. I'm going to give you two extra minutes because I know it's four sentences. It takes time. All right, line 20, let's listen to your sentences. Now, at this point, you should have the four sentences completed, but if you don't have them, that's fine. If you only have two or three, that's perfect. Let me hear your sentences. Okay. Do we have volunteers for the first one? Or should I start asking one by one? Okay, we have here, these sentences are from Jonathan. Jonathan, because he's not, he's only as a listener, so he sent his uh, sentences in the chat. All the other ones, make sure you, you say your sentences, okay? Don't send them. Number one, Jonathan, my backpack was broken as a, as a consequence, I lost my pencil and my book, <laughs> okay? Number two, I forgot, I forget my soda on the freezer. As a result, it gets froze and I couldn't drink. Okay, in this case, Jonathan, we just have to change the tense to simple fast. I forgot my soda on the freezer, period. As a result, coma, I got, it got froze and I couldn't drink it, right? So just make sure that if you're speaking in fast, the verbs are in fast. Other than that, very well, well done. Let's listen to the other sentences. Um, Jose, do you have your sentences ready by any chance? I believe, miss. <laughs> All right, let's hear them. In the, the first let's, one. Let's check. <laughs> the meeting started late. As a consequence, it finished after lunch. Number mm -hmm. two, the food was not prepared good. As a result, they had to visit the doctor. All right. <laughs> Number Good, three. Uh -huh. Number three. The work has been done. Consequently, we have to pay for it right now. Mm -hmm. Number four. We leave open the door. As a result, 
the gangster were robbed everything. Uh -huh. Number five, we have not received the payment. Therefore, we cannot go for the supermarket. <laughs> it's complete <laughs> real life history. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, thank you for sharing. Those sentences are very well done. Okay, now let's go with um Emerson. Do you have your sentences ready, Emerson? I have a, only three. Okay, let's hear the, the ones that you have, please. Well, um, the first is uh, this report was not sent, therefore, the client would not get timely feedback. Okay. And the second, yesterday on my way home, it started to rain. As a consequence, I cut a cold. Oh, <laughs> all right, that's good. Remember, uh, during the rain, there my power outage. As a result, my laptop burned out. Oh, okay. Are those the three sentences, Amazon? Yes, only three. Very good. They were they were very well done. So you're using it correctly. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Now let's check Eduardo, please. Do you have your sentences ready? Yes. <clears throat> okay, I was busy. Therefore, uh, I couldn't uh, I couldn't come. All right. Um, uh, as a result of the accident, I I love my car. Very well. You used it at the beginning of the sentence, okay? I cannot use it in the beginning. Yeah, you used it correctly. <laughs> uh, okay. okay. Do you have another one? Or Yes, uh, I was studying to be an engineer. As a consequence, I lost the opportunity to study other things. <laughs> right, very good. Thanks, Eduardo. Um, Carla, do you have your sentences? Hello. Uh, I have two. <laughs> okay, let's do uh, it. Price packet as a consequence of the inflation. Mm -hmm. And everything that happened as a result of uh, that mistake. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Carla. Those were two sentences. They were short, but you used them. I mean, you incorporated them, so that's good. Thank you. Um, let's see who else. Mayra, did you give me your sentences already? Yes. Um, All right. The first. Yeah. Some people don't change their life lifestyles. Mm -hmm. As a consequence, they are get very sick. They get very sick. Mm -hmm. And the second one is, my husband didn't maintain the car. As a result, the car was the much. <laughs> okay. Good, Mayra. Thank you. <laughs> Those were accurate sentences. Okay. And then Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, can you read your sentences, please? Okay, uh, the first is uh, the dog uh, was destroyed uh, as a consequence as a of the strong waves mm -hmm. in the matter what. <laughs> yeah. the, the second one, uh, the question of platform was wrong. Uh, as a result, uh, we don't have a 100% of the homework for it. All right. Okay. Um, we don't deliver a product on time. Uh, consequently, uh, the customer go upset. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't finish the final exam. Uh, therefore, I will fail the module. <laughs> <laughs> Good. All right, guys. So it, I, I'm checking most of you are using them correctly. So that's nice. And I noticed that some of you were not using them exactly in the middle of the sentence as a transition. You were using them as an explanation of the result at the beginning of the sentence or at the end, right? And that is also correct. You can do that, right? It's just a 
um, the one that we're seeing here in the screen is just one of the ways that you can do it, but you can do it at the beginning or at the end as well, depending on what message um, you're trying to, to convey, right? Very good. Um, let's see, Cesar, do you have your sentences? Yes, teacher. My sentence are, okay, the first, I didn't do my English homework as a result of having been playing all afternoon. Is correct? Mm-hmm, yes. yes. Okay. I didn't pass the exam as a consequence of not having started. And mm -hmm. yesterday I worked till late, uh, therefore I'm going to work late. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Then I call it with her till late. As a result, today I didn't want to get up. <laughs> All right, very well. Good sentences, Cesar. Thank you. Okay. Okay, did I miss someone from sentences? Let's see. Is somebody missing? Uh, Wendy, do you have your sentences ready? Um and Nelly, do you have your sentences? Are you there, guys? <laughs> All right. So I think I think they might have stood up or something. They might not be in front of the screen. So we're gonna continue. We're gonna move forward to the next exercise on um where is it? Oh here it is. Page 28, exercise five. Read the warehouse issues below and apply the corresponding punctuation. Compare your answers with a partner. Okay, we're not gonna do the punctuation part. I think it's enough that you have that in the platform <laughs> to do punctuation. Just remember this, right? You can finish one sentence with the semicolon, but you can finish a sentence with a period, right? You can decide, and then you use the transition word as a result, comma, continued idea, the second idea, and you close it, right? Or instead of using a period, you can use a semicolon, transition of result, comma, continue the last idea, close it, right? So you have options, you whichever one you prefer, but we're not going to do the punctuation here in this exercise, so don't worry. But I want you to pay attention to the examples, to the, uh, the situation, the warehouse issues, okay? So I'm going to need two volunteers to read. The first volunteer is going to read issue number one and issue number two. And the second volunteer is going to read three and four. Eduardo, please help us reading at, uh, issue number one and two. And we need one more person to read three and four. Maida, please help us with the last two. Go ahead, Isla. <clears throat> okay. We removed items from cartons and package as a result. Pickers are not able to find to find them when they need to. And the number two say the vendor is shipping multiple items in a sing in a single box. Consequently, we have to waste the time to open the box. Count the items and rebox them. The warehouse doesn't have enough stuff, therefore we have to put product in the aisles. Aisles. The conveyor <laughs> aisles. Oh. Mm -hmm. The conveyor belt broke as a consequence. There is not enough stuff to put arriving package away. Okay. So those are four issues that are related to warehouse, right? So what you guys are going to do right now is that you're going to, we're gonna start, we're gonna go to the into the breakout rooms. Okay, just bear with me for a moment. Okay, we're gonna go into the breakout rooms and you're going to create, um, we're gonna move on exercise six, it says, Take turns giving advice on how to solve the issues above, right? And integrate transitions of result. So you're gonna go into the breakup rooms. You're going to create a solution for each of the problems, a solution for problem one, 
a solution for two, a solution for three, and a solution for four. It's not that I'm going to select one or two, no. You have to create a solution for each of them, for the four issues that you have on the book, okay? But you're going to do this with your classmates, and then when we come in the rooms, and when we come back, we're gonna listen to your creativity, to your ideas on how you would solve these problems, okay? The rooms are open right now, and you're gonna have 15 minutes, okay? Pueden ingresar a la sala. Tienen que resolver o proveer una solución para cada uno de los issues que se mencionan ahí, de los cuatro, okay? Pueden ingresar a las salas, tienen 15 minutos. Let's go ahead, let's go into the rooms, please. Tengo a varios pending, vamos ingresando a las salas, por favor.
Okay, now that we're all back, let's hear those solutions that you created for this issue. We're gonna start with room number two. In room number two, we have, because there is nobody working in room one, so we're gonna begin with room two, and that is Jose Romero, Carla Sofia, and Nelly Lilibet. Go ahead. No. I... The we start number six or the exercise number five. Exercise number six was using the solu giving solutions to the sentences from exercise number five. Okay. Uh, in the number one, we removed the items from cartoon or package as a result because are not able uh, to find the being they needed. Uh, we talk about we were warehouse layout for have organization uh, the items. We need to. Uh, design the how to save the probes in the container maybe. <laughs> okay. Uh no I don't know if Jose uh, uh, add something for Nelly. In the number uh, one and two, we we think that um, it's a very helpful have a list, uh, um, like a checklist from every articles um, that package um, that uh, package had right. So. Uh, and maybe put um, a sticker or a certification number, certification number for identify. And uh, storage the product in the specific places from um, a void. For avoid uh whatever problem that uh the the employees have to find the the articles mm -hmm. and number three and four <laughs> um. We, we didn't talk about anything. All right. <laughs> but, but I, I, I think, can tell. I can tell. <laughs> but I think uh, maybe uh, in the number three, mm -hmm. uh, rent a large warehouse maybe mm -hmm. for more uh, space. <laughs> that's, not, <laughs> that's not a solution, Carla. <laughs> What if you don't have money for renting an extra a bigger where what solution <laughs> lady? <laughs> I think Jose was trying to help you guys in the chat. He said he suggested warehouse layout as a solution. So yeah, that lay um arranging the layout could be a solution for point number three. Okay. Right? Um depending maybe the thing the products are not arranged in the correct way, so they are taking more space than necessary. So you could check the layout, right? La disposición of the product. Okay. So <laughs> thank you for improvising, maybe. <laughs> At least you participated. That, that's what matters. That's what I need for you to participate. All right. So that's good. And you did it correctly. You spoke correctly. So nice. Thank you. Then the tier room number four. We have Emerson, Jose, Ver no, Emerson and Mayra. Okay. 
for the first problem, we propose and make a specific area to put items. Um, and the second problem, um, our proposal is required to the vendor that he must place a label detailing the content of the box. Okay. The number three, we propose to create a process in which product does not spend a lot of time in the warehouse. Also, we propose a separated type of the shipping, whether national or international. Okay, very good. And, mm -hmm. and the last one this year, um, uh, our proposal is to hire temporary staff <laughs> yeah. or require support from another area. While the machine. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. While, they, while they get fixed, the conveyor belt gets fixed. Very good. That's the best solution because it's only temporary, right? So that's okay. that's the keyword there. Maida, Amazon, very good job. I like that you were very creative also on those answers, on those solutions. Nice job. Thank you. Okay, we're going to listen to room number five right now. We have Juan Carlos and Cesar. Please. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. With the first problem, we was talking about two ways to we solve. Were. <laughs> we were. We were talking, sorry. We were talking about uh, to use two ways to solve. Uh, the first, uh, if we are a little company, we can to use the, the rats. Okay, we have to organize it in order to arrive. And if we are a, a big company, we can to use um the RFID. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. Juan Carlos saved me that and is the system to localize all the items via radio frequency. And it's so, so good. I don't know mm -hmm. if Juan want to say it or want to yeah say it more ah, okay yes and uh, if the, the the company is big uh, we can use a uh, RFID tax uh, this work uh, with a system in wireless location uh, to find uh, each item uh, easily okay uh, okay uh, with the second uh, problem or situation, we propose uh, that the vendor send us the, the order with the quantity of the product to uh, improve in our time and, and uh, 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 more that uh, and each box come to uh, label it yes all right and, okay uh, i don't know juan carlos if you want to say it more okay uh, the three three and uh, we have doesn't have enough dogs and uh, we uh, we, the solution is uh, rent a temporary warehouse uh, to store the excess uh, items or product. Mm. And the... <laughs> uh <-huh>. oh. <laughs> <laughs> you see, there is a it. The thing with that, it that like um, if you rent a bigger house, a warehouse, or if you buy a bigger warehouse. Um, the problem is you're not giving a solution to the problem, right? You're just gaining more space, but the, the problem is going to continue happening. You still will not have stock, <laughs> all right? Or maybe organize the, the stock to the, the product that we are going to receive in, mm -hmm. in this week or on the week or on the, the months, depends. 
yeah and with a better organization i feel that we can do yep. some this problem and probably letting oh. the customers know in advance right like yeah. we're going to have your cargo here so if they know in advance they can be ready to go and pick it up right for example or you can distribute it faster mm -hmm. uh, yes uh, uh, maybe improve the, the process Mm -hmm. to improve it in that sense the, exactly. the delivery or, or pick it easy. Mm -hmm. so that you don't have to use the space because it's going to be moving right it's going to be in constant movement all right yeah. very well <laughs> let <laughs> we're going to stop here uh juan carlos uh okay. because of the time i don't want to take your time from sleeping guys <laughs> i know it's important but you deliver very good answers for one, two, and three. Those are very complete also. So thank you for adapting and improvising and delivering your, your answers. Very creative solutions, guys. Now, I'm going to take attendance one more time and please be ready when I call your name, okay? Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Dairo Jonathan Fuentes. Eduardo Antonio Magaño. Me, 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 me. Okay. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Fatima Gabriela Present, Loza. Miss. Thank you, Emerson. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jonathan Jose González. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo López. Present. Thank you. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Thank you. Jose César Lemos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Herrera. Present. Thank you, Juan José Herrera. Present. Thank you, Carla Sofía Argueta. Present. Thank you, Kenya Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you, Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Mayra Cecilia Peña. Present. Thank you, Nelly Lilibet Andrade. Present. Thank you, Raúl Antonio Jordán. Sandra Vigail Bonilla. And Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Wendy? All right, no. Present teacher. <laughs> all right, mm -hmm. so guys, that's going to be it for tonight. And I will see you all tomorrow. I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you at night tomorrow. Take care. Good night, Good teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Get some rest. Bye. Good night. Have a good, Have a good night. Take care. Abigail, está ahí. Está por ahí, Abigail. Veo que se quedó.